Hey everybody, um, I'm Tyler Smith. This is Occult Perspectives. This is my first YouTube video on this channel. Um, I also have a drum YouTube page um, where I do drum covers. Um, there's some vocal covers on there and I used to do um, some explanatory talks about conspiracy theories and other esoteric topics on there but I wanted to go ahead and start a new channel. Um, so this is Occult Perspectives. And before we get any further, um, I just want to say that when people think of the occult, they may get the wrong um, vision or perspective in their mind. Um, a lot of weird Hollywood is partially responsible for this, for you know, you think kind of sacrificing an animal in the woods kind of deal, but the word occult simply means hidden. Um, we have organs in our body um, that are covered up or hidden by other organs, and these would be considered occult organs. So uh, before going any further, the occult simply means that which is hidden or that which is concealed. Um, it has further applications than that, of course, which we're going to get into in this channel. I'm excited. Um, 2021, it's been a good year so far. I'm feeling, feeling a lot of fresh energy. Um, I've got back into my studies uh, very heavily. Um, and now I just want to share some knowledge. And it's not so much that this is my knowledge. This is me um, kind of condensing and compartmentalizing um, information and knowledge from other works so that I can teach it in a way that's easy to understand um, I can kind of put some of my experiences and perspectives into it as well. Uh, maybe some shortcuts or there's going to be parts where I don't feel that they cover a subject maybe as thoroughly as they should. So I'll go ahead and throw um, some of my perspectives in there. Um, but we're going to cover a lot of things on this channel. Um, any Everything from Freemasonry to Kabbalah to the Rosicrucians, um, the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. Um, we'll probably even get into some conspiracy stuff. Um, I don't focus as much on that now because I'm focusing on shifting our paradigm into what we want, the heaven that we want to manifest on earth. Remember, it's important to know that where attention goes, energy goes. So whatever you're focusing your attention on, you're putting energy in that area or directing it um, towards that. So make sure you're focusing your attention on the things that you want to manifest. So this first video, um, I wanted to cover something really simple. It's kind of a prerequisite um, exercise. It's used more in um, Western ceremonial magic, such as the Golden Dawn. Um, really, in any system, you can use it, though. And even if you're not... Um, a practitioner of any kind or even if you don't meditate um, this exercise um, it's often used in the medical field um, even um, therapists and doctors will recommend it to calm down patients or something very similar not an exact version of this and there are variants of this ritual it's called the relaxation ritual it's not even really a ritual it's just something to kind of help calm your nerves Empty the mind of all the chitter-chatter, all the distractions, allowing your body to actually come into ease. Um, doing this ritual, it's, the effects are going to be temporary. Um, you know, it's supposed to relax you for the moment, but if you can learn to um, rhythmically breathe, which usually I do the fourfold breath, which is in for four, Hold for four. Exhale for four. So usually the first step of the relaxation ritual, I try to get into the fourfold breath for at least uh, three or four cycles. And empty the mind. You can do this uh, little ritual either sitting up in a chair or laying down. 
personally, I find it easier if you're sitting up in a chair. And you're essentially um, just gonna, you know, sitting like such. You place your hands um, on each leg, palms down. Go ahead and you get into this rhythmical breathing. I recommend practicing it with me. You don't have to. But the more you do it, um, the more you'll get comfortable with it and you'll just more easily be able to slip into the state of consciousness where you're relaxed. You can actually be at peace. Let all tension go, all worries go. Everything's gonna be all right. You're exactly where you need to be. So once you get into this relaxed state, imagine a brilliant white glow coming from the bottom of your feet, from the like roots, a root system coming from the earth. A giant white ball, uh, like bright and glowing like a sun and you feel its warmth. And if you focus close enough, you'll actually be able to see a white glow. Now, this may not happen the first couple times, but if you keep practicing, I promise you'll get there. And then this white, bright, brilliant white glow, this warmth like the sun, it moves up your legs slowly, not too quick. But as this light rises, it brings complete complete relaxation. It relaxes the entire body. Just, just let go. Don't worry about anything. You don't even have to worry if you're doing it exactly right. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but you move the white light up through the sacral chakra. Of course, you can, I like to envision the chakras activating as well while the white light is moving up, but at first you probably just want to focus on the white light moving through the root chakra, sacral chakra, at the solar plexus. Now as the light moves up towards your chest, it's also going to flow down your arms too, to your hands, to your fingertips as it's covering your entire body. This white light flows up through your neck up to your third eye, covering your entire head in this brilliant white glow. And then, if you want to, connect it to the uh, crown chakra, and it should just be this brilliant beaming white glow above your head. And once you get to this state, your entire body should be covered in white light. Anywhere that's feeling pain, you're fe feeling uh, tension or tightness, Send the white light to that area. And with it comes total peace, bliss, and healing. Allow the cells, the very cells, to heal themselves in that part of your body. The body has amazing healing capabilities. If we but just let it do the healing. And we often like complain about hurting or being in pain, but are we truly allowing ourselves to be healed? So if you've sent this white light to any areas that are hurting, see if there's anywhere else that needs healing. As you're done with this part, you can now take three deep breaths. Again, doing the rhythmic breathing. I do the fourfold breath. Just let the light flow through you, bringing total peace and healing, and come back to normal consciousness. And you
you should feel much better, much, much more relaxed. This is a good prerequisite to any ritual work or any meditation. Um, you can do it before going into work. Uh, you can do it at night before going to sleep. Uh, it should help you um, go to sleep a lot more than taking any medication or anything like that. You know, that's not really necessary. I understand people, um, some people do really need to be on medicine, but for the most part, you know, instead of popping an ibuprofen, try the relaxation ritual. Um, I promise it'll, if you keep at it, it'll work for you. Um, number one source that I recommend, um, it's going to be on page 13. Um, if you have, this is the second edition. Uh, it's Modern Magic, 12 Lessons in the High Magical Arts by Donald Michael Craig. Um, highly recommend that one. Um, and even if you're not into ceremonial magic, there's a great section. Well, there's plenty of sections in the book that um, explain the Kabbalah very well. Um, it's one of the best books as far as elementary knowledge and understanding of the Tree of Life and the Kabbalah. And I also came across a YouTube channel and video just yesterday also explaining the relaxation ritual. So I'm going to post that book, um, the author, um, as well as the um, link to the YouTube channel of the other guy that I watched um, yesterday. He did. He does an incredible job um, just summarizing the relaxation ritual real quick. Um, he makes it really easy to understand. It's clear, concise, um, good stuff. Well, that's it for the first lesson. Uh, the definition of a cult is simply that which is hidden and the first exercise um, that you can do if you so choose um, very simple relaxation ritual if you have any questions or anything just comment below um, hope to see you around um, i'll be posting more videos soon um, i am a pretty busy guy um, i work and i'm a musician so i'm usually working on some kind of project uh, more than one project, typically at a time. Um, but here soon, I'm going to try to just keep keep the videos going, um, keep posting one every day. Um, so please subscribe, um, click a like if you like the video, and I hope to see you soon. Be blessed.